Hey everyone, this is Jolyn. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Thursday's check-in. It is a gorgeous day here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Ninth Island. And I'm hopping on here to do my weekly check-in. If you are new to the channel, I do a weekly check-in every Thursday. And I've started this series since the lockdown happened and I have done, I don't, I don't want to say... I want to say over 100 episodes by now of Thursday's check-in. So no matter where I am in the world, whether I'm in Las Vegas, Santa Monica, or traveling abroad, you always get to see me as close as possible in real time once a week. And I share with you what's going on with me for the week. Now, since last week Thursday's check-in, I checked in from Santa Monica and I came directly back to Las Vegas after my market day on last week Thursday, which... The market was kind of slow and I think it was because the weather was cold and gloomy. I vended all day in a hoodie. Hopefully when this video goes live and I do the same market again, the weather will be nice. I'm hoping so. Um, so we have a good market day. But I've been pretty much here in Las Vegas since last week Thursday's check-in dancing. So there has not been much a lot of activity for plant life i did bring my drill over like i promised myself i would because i do want to drill into all of my planters that don't have any holes but because i did some things for myself self-care i got my nails done which is super cute i love them a lot and i just got my hair done and this took five hours of my day so i went back to more of like the pinks and purples because i was doing red for the last six months and i also like to do this colors as well i went back to this color for the spring and for carnival season and that pretty much took my whole day so i was not able to do any drilling and any other plant related things but i basically have been just dancing every night between five to seven shows a night so i haven't been doing much of plant life i did stop by daiso in my neighborhood in santa monica west la and i picked up these plant stands and i have one on my patio table my tiffany blue table that i do my planting on i sprayed it and i painted it tiffany blue and they had these back in stock again so i decided to buy two of them and they now live on my desk here so that my smaller planters that are living on my desk can be off of my desk because my desk is white and i can have different level changes so i got two of these so that's something new for me also i did bring over two buckets of jade fallout cuttings <clears throat> and I'm also dealing with my allergies so my jade tree just went through its bloom season and from the wind and just from me picking the bloom naturally parts of the mother plant just falls so anytime I pass by my big jade tree I pick up the cutting so I have two big buckets of them and I am going to just propagate them here fill up my planters here and because I'm only going to be back in Santa Monica to vend for four days and come right back to Las Vegas I will do that when i'm back in town i just was way too busy with dancing and everything going on so that was something that i did for plant life for las vegas as well as bringing over a few more sense of areas i think i brought over six more and it looks really green in my room and i will eventually do a las vegas updated plant collective because i've been adding more plants whether it's purchasing more plants from here or bringing them from the santa monica collection and actually the two sunicios that i rescued is hanging somewhere in this section of the backyard while the weather is really nice so that is kind of what i've been up to the last week nothing too exciting um, i will be vending three markets this week so if you are in southern california and would like to come see the shop and meet me in person i will be when this video goes live at westwood farmers market that is my neighborhood farmers market doing my big monthly market second sunday of the month at the rose bowl flea market that is the biggest largest market that i do and as um a consumer or customer i i really enjoy going to the rose bowl prior to me being a small business owner or vendor i actually did some filming i filmed a pot of fame while i was in santa monica for a week and it was nice to just show the updates because a lot of my plants are currently in boom and i'm looking forward to hopefully being able to save the blooms and i hope it happens before or after brazil i'm just going to be traveling a lot i will be going home to hawaii for three days two nights to have a reset and then i'll come back to los angeles just for three four days to van 
and then I will be taking off to Brazil. So it's a very busy April for me as I gear up for another big international trip filming for the vlog channel. I would like to hopefully be able to walk into at least one plant shop while I am in Rio. Uh, but the second week of my time in Brazil, I will be in the Amazon. So a lot of filming uh, that it will be taking place over the next few weeks, which I'm super excited. Grandma is going back to Hawaii for a month. Um, so she'll have just a couple more days with us and Ebby will be here in Las Vegas with my mom while I travel to Hawaii and Brazil so that's kind of where I'm at right now I I just wanted to hop on and say hi show you my new hair and my new nails and if you're interested in any of my resin art I'm always creating when I'm at the market and when I'm in Santa Monica so a lot of new things for spring which I'm super excited about so I can't wait to be back with the shop and in fact when we got here i went to first friday which was interesting because i never am here on a night where i'm not dancing but i decided to drive up the night before so that i could go to first friday i wanted to see what the vendors was like and what if it's worth it to maybe schedule myself to be here for the first friday of the month to then um, so I vlogged first Friday Las Vegas for the vlog channel so you eventually see that on a daily vlog and I feel like I'm not missing out I seen it and I feel like the people who are going to first Friday are going to just hang out and not necessarily buy things from vendors and I was able to stop by a farmers market that's about six miles from here and that happens on a Sunday I believe um, it's just cost so so much to be a vendor here like a lot I even had to pay $50 just to apply which is crazy to me because all of the markets that I've done in the past whether it's in Hawaii or California was free to apply except my neighborhood farmers market was $5 to apply and then on top of that they want you to have liabilities insurance which is super super expensive and that's not including your vendors fee to show up so I'm trying to figure out my Las Vegas pop-up schedule because I would probably only be able to do three pop-ups a month in Las Vegas when the weather is good but during the winter and summer months I will not vent here it's just not worth it to be outside in those harsh conditions but that's kind of what I've been up to this week is just focusing on dancing editing for the channels and kind of gearing up to head back to Santa Monica to do all these pop-ups for the month of April. So that is going to wrap up today's video. Just a short and sweet hello. You can see my new hair. I just left the salon. Comment down below if you guys miss seeing me in these tones of colors. And what do you think about my nails? And I will see you next week back here in Las Vegas because I'll be here. So next week Thursday's check-in. We'll be coming from Las Vegas and my goal is to drill into those planters when I'm back and set up the jade cuttings and I will hopefully maybe be able to bring a few more plants over. If not, I wouldn't mind checking out like another big box store to see what they have because I know you guys say that there's all these cool plants that you guys find there but the locations where I'm at in Los Angeles and in Las Vegas never has anything interesting. You guys know that. I always share walkthroughs on this channel or on the vlog channel and I haven't really found any gems at my big box stores but that's pretty much all there is except the one nursery but the plants there is always looking like they're struggling so it is what it is plant life here is definitely something that you have to i think purchase your plants online if you live full-time in las vegas and want special plants um, but that is my thoughts for the week and i am looking forward to wrapping up costa rica content i have a few more episodes left i think maybe three more episodes to edit and i will probably have around 20 or so episodes for travel with Julian costa rica so if you haven't subscribe follow the vlog channel my daily vlogs and solo adventures around the world and it's definitely something that i'm very passionate about and look forward to sharing more adventures i can't believe brazil is right around the corner and with that being said i'll sign off here hope you guys enjoyed seeing the backyard because sooner than later i will not be able to sit out here in the hot heat but i've been enjoying doing pilates and dancing in the backyard and having just some nice breeze come through and being outdoors and still being able to enjoy the weather 
and my time here so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day i will see you back here next week thursday and i think this coming monday's video you will see the way how i traveled with the plants i think that's the next video i'm going to share and then we'll do planting with julian but if you haven't watched my south florida content Go ahead and check it out. This past Monday, I finally shared my haul. And what do you guys think about the plants that I decided to choose from all the plants there? And I think it was hard because I kind of went crazy at the first location. So then when I went to the second location, I had to think about the size and how I was going to travel with the existing plants that I already had purchased at the first location. And I think that's something that you have to think about when you are using... Uh, a ride share app and also flying with plants so I think I did pretty good minus a few plants that uh, unfortunately did not make it because they did not like flying being bare do what I can on how I traveled with plants and this coming Monday's episode I will see you soon Aloha from Las Vegas the ninth island Nevada bye Thank you.